Hello my darlings and welcome to another Bedroom Guru with me Nikki Allen. How are you tribe? Are you doing well? We are having beautiful weather here in Devon in the UK. I hope you're having wonderful weather and wonderful days wherever you may be. Yes we're here for the weekly checking using our faithful energy oracle cards and our tarot cards for clarification. So think number one, two or three, you know the drill. And I shall give you a little reading to see what's going on in the next week. <laughs> Let's have a little look and see what we've got coming up for you, number ones. Collective for number ones, please. Collective for number ones. Do you like how professional I am with the camera wobbling? Yeah. You can see all those different colours coming through. Look, there. And on my Gaia. Oh, there's one there as well. Synchronicity that was. My mum came in a meditation. I just said in the last video. And um, I found the bee flashing in my face in the pharmacy. And that's what's happening now. The sun's coming through the crystal. How amazing is that? Okay, that one. So for number ones, let's have a little look at what you've got in store. Oh dear, oh dear. Why do I keep doing Scottish? Marie Petra is going to absolutely kill me, isn't she? Right, okay, first of all, you've got the thinking woman. You are thinking of either taking up a course or thinking of changing um, your life in some way by educating yourself, studying, apprenticeship taking yourself on a different course, learning more about your job, learning more about your life, could even be spiritual study. The reason I say that is because we do have the healer of ages here, Jesus, and basically this is about you taking yourself on a journey to heal from the past or to make you feel better about yourself. So that's perhaps why I'm going towards spiritual, taking on spiritual development here. You've got the transformation of the butterfly. You're trying to learn, embrace, absorb anything at all that's going to help you move on, which is going to bring you healing and make you feel better about yourself. Obviously, in a material world, this can be exactly the same way. You're feeling better about yourself. You're healing a situation. You're moving forward, um, making yourself perhaps more knowledgeable in a certain area. Or you're moving forward with a new job. Something like that that's making you feel like I'm completing myself. I'm doing something worthwhile. You also have hostilities here. You may have people, twofold this is, I feel intuitively. With the healing, with the hostilities card, I feel like you may be um, taking on spiritual development to get away from any previous hostilities here. You know, perhaps you've had a bit of a bad time, perhaps you've been in battle with people or situations and you just need some time out and take a bit more of a spiritual path, more mindful path, perhaps start meditating, doing spiritual classes, studying perhaps a tarot, whatever it is. Um, in fact, talking to tarot, I'm on TikTok now and I'm starting to do little tarot things and all sorts. Says, Come and join me on TikTok. So anyway, um, with the hostilities also, if you are taking on something new, whether it be spiritual or material, a new course, you may have people averse to wanting you to do that, to further yourself forward. There's lots of people in this life that like to see us down in the gutter, you know, being the um, underdog. And then when we start to flourish and want to push ourselves forwards and better ourselves, people get a bit resentful of that. And I've had it in the past myself. Um, so you know what to them carry on doing what you're doing all right do not allow these hostilities to get in the way of your healing or where you want to go forward to make yourself feel better okay that's the that's the advice for you just check which way you layer up let's get some clarifications i want clarification please on well any of it to be honest with you that's on the thinking woman the healing situation going on there wobble 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 Oh my God, that's so weird, Marie. I've just mentioned your name and you've just come up liking one of my videos. How weird is that? I think on Instagram. I had to put it on there just to make people smile because it's a little Mia dancing. When music comes on sometimes, she has a little dance. So cute. Just sort of put it on there to make people smile. Okay, thank you. Yes. Good. Right. Thank you very much. It's absolutely fucking... Oh, I just said the F word. I meant, oh my God, sorry, that's absolutely brilliant because it makes complete sense. It's absolutely right. 
so for most people that that are in this in this um reading you couldn't make it up look the swords are, are literally connected with the hostilities this basically means that you've been stabbed in the back you've had people treat you wrongly you've had just as much as you can take the brilliance of this card is it is a temporary phase and that you're now coming out of difficulties and you're now coming out of this phase. So that is right for um, the people on the path that have come from hostilities, come from difficult relationship situations. You're now coming out of it. OK, you're feeling a bit bruised, as you can see quite clearly, been stabbed in the back. You've had enough, but there is now change afoot. It is the end of the difficult road ahead. OK, you can see, look, the sunrise is, is starting to emanate up through the dark clouds okay so you are getting there you're on the right path keep going all right can i just have any other further advice please thank you yep you're walking away so this is also to do with relationships so as i said before you know it could be a person or a situation but this is about walking away you've had enough you know that it's time it's come to an end there's no equal balance you know you may be going into dark times, there might be mountains in the way, but you don't care. It doesn't matter what sacrifices you've got to make. You now know this is the right time to end a relationship or walk away from a friendship. OK, so if that is taking you on a on a on a traveling away to study or you're going to start this spiritual um, journey just to get yourself feeling better about what's happened in the past, then do it because you really it is really going to serve you well. So if you're going to take something up to make yourself feel better, go for it. Any more, please, for number ones, number ones in their consciousness, number ones. Oh, my God. See? You've got another sword. This is incredible. It's incredible. It's air, so it's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, if that refers to anybody um, that you're thinking of or who you are. So we've got the swords come up there and we've got the swords come up here. This is basically, as you can see, they just need solace. They need to get themselves away. This could be spiritual regrouping, mindfulness, or just getting a, the F out of Dodge got the f word coming i've got to rest today oh my god right so this is just getting away getting your head straight getting rid of what you don't want and just taking some time out whether it's a trip whether it's a brief weekend away or it's a walk in the woods for two two hours whatever it is you are asked to just regroup keep away from the people that have created the pain um that have you know that have led to you moving on and just take some time out be kind to yourself and then go forward with your healing which is either through learning something new, feeling good about yourself or a spiritual path. So you deserve this and you've made the right decision. If any of you pick this number and thinking, oh my God, have I done the right thing in this change? You could be leaving job, a person, a relationship. Then yes, you have done the right thing. Okay. Well done you, my little buttercups. That's number ones for you. Thank you, my lovelies. Look at my go. Isn't she the most sexiest thing you've ever seen in your life? The angel's over in the corner now. I love her so much. I've wanted her for so long. And luckily it was my birthday. Anyway, number two. So let's have a little look and see what's going on with numero dos. Numero dos. Two in the consciousness, please. Did you just hear that? There's a bit of a knock or a bang over in the corner by the angel. It's a bit weird. Okay, lovely. Right, okay. That's interesting. Right, some of you may have experienced some sort of money loss here and you need to get some support. Now, a community represents you being around friends. It reminds me of the Three of Cups. It's celebrating friendship, spending time with the people that value you as much as you value them. It's being around positive people. It's being around like-minded people and getting support, okay? You've got the door to value here. However, this normally means that there's money coming in and it's all lovely and fluffy. However, you are next to a deceit card. So this says to me that either you've lost money or you've perhaps been deceived. You don't know. You've had someone steal from you or you've lost out on money, which is unfair. Or perhaps you lost your job, which is unfair. And you're now finding it a bit tight on the old budget. OK, 
So this card at the moment is asking for you to find like-minded people. Also, I would say um, at this point that if you like need like Step Change, which is um, a chat reorganisation that helps with debt, there's um, obviously go to see an accountant if that's what is relevant. It's just also not only celebrating and connecting with people that are in your community, but also seeking people that are going to help you out of this rut because this looks like there's a bit of a problem with money connecting here. Just want to recheck that. I'm going to add another Oracle card, I feel, to see the full story on this. Someone hasn't played ball. And they are someone you know or trusted because you've got the seven mirroring the seven, which is community. This is someone you knew or trusted. It's like me getting ripped off that boat engine, isn't it? <laughs> too many cards, too many cards. I got the money back in the end, though. Through dogged perseverance and detective work. Yes. Let's have a little lucky. Can I have a clarification, please, on the deceit um, and the daughter value, please, on the oracle? Firstly, on the oracle, please. What's that one? Yeah, yeah. So there has been someone that's either ripped you off, taken your money, um, lost your job, or someone's acted like wrongly in work and you've got the blame for it, and so it's, 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 it it's ended up with you having less money. But there's a storm going on at the moment, which is basically saying that you know, it isn't great at the moment um, and you're not in a great financial situation at the moment. You're a bit worried. So let's get some clarifies and some advice from our beautiful Ride Away Tarot. Let's see what's what we can what we can do to help you guys. Obviously, the number one choice is, is to be with supportive people. Reach out, tell them the situation you're in. Don't hide it. And perhaps go to somewhere like Step Change in the UK. I'm not sure what the one is over in the US or in Canada or anywhere else. <laughs> See, there's so many countries that watch this, um, which I'm so humbled about. Yeah. Oh, my good God. Jesus Christ. This is brilliant. So it's keeping you up at night. You are so depressed. You've got racing thoughts. You're just so worried and anxious about the fact that there's a money issue going on at the moment. You're perhaps also very hurt or very upset about the person that created it or the situation that created it. So you are really, really worried and anxious. If this is a massive thing, that's a life changing thing, you're going to have to seek counselling or seek a way to help you. So John's Walt is good. If you're feeling a bit depressed over this, if you really are broken, then go to your GP. I've already um, done a video about that. But this is you really are literally not knowing which way to go and you're feeling totally bereft. Because you're thinking, where's this money going to come from? This is the beauty of it. The Page of Pentacles is saying that someone with a creative idea or you've got unique skills or creativity to get through this. OK, number one, if you've got a thought of a job to take or you want to take creative skill further forward, you can. The Page of Pentacles is basically creating ideas and taking them into fruition. So start thinking about what things you can do to make money whether it's, um, you know, a craft, a skill, a service, um, but it's all about an idea. If you've got an idea of I should have applied for that job last month and it's still open, apply for it. This is all about creating, working or make, taking action on the ideas you have towards making money in Korea. OK, so you've got to get off your bum and stop sitting in this environment. All right. And start thinking, start thinking on ways that you can create money through your own natural talent or ability. All right. Start thinking on how you can start moving forward and do it, making some money for yourself. Could even just be vintage or eBay. Do you know what I mean? Just making a few pennies. Start thinking, start using your resources. Not all is lost here. OK, let's get some more clarifiers for you. Thank you. OK, to so the King of Wands. He's got it sus spiritually. He's he's totally knows um, what's going on. He's balanced. All the actions he's taken have worked out and are, are in fruition. Because look, you've got all the um, you've got. I've got a bit of brain fog today, so sorry about all the us and ums. I'm I'm not um I'm not very good with saying words today. And so she picks his thing to a video. Oh, it's only because I've got friends coming to stay, so I thought I'd do it now. Um, so he's look, he's regal. He's sitting there quite happy. He's got the strength of the line above him. He's got the infinity symbols going on there. So everything as it is, 
he's just going round and round. So he's totally stable. He's on this really solid platform. And he's basically saying, I've sussed this. I've got everything right. I've got everything in balance. Also, this is very spiritual. So try and adopt some sort of spiritual faith into this. Start praying to the angels, asking them to bring you money. Start asking the universe. Start cosmic ordering. The videos are on it. Just watch them and do it. Okay, it's very much an action card, the wands, okay? Very much an action card. So let's start seeing you have a bit of fire in your belly. Could be Leo Sag Aries as um, horoscopes for the fire in the belly needed. Um, so if that correlates to you or the person that's created this, then happy days. Comment below and let me know. And what else have we got? What is the outcome of this, please? What is the outcome of all of this worry, stress and money problems? What is the outcome, please? What is the outcome? What is the outcome? Okay, thank... Oh, my God, this just come up in the last reading, right? End of difficulties. You've been stabbed in the back, okay? You've had um, massive, tr like, you know, um, say I told you, turbulent problems, okay? You've really had enough. You've been stabbed in the back. You've trusted people perhaps that didn't have your back. They've deceived you. They've taken money, whatever they've done. And this is reflecting this. But this is a temporary card. And this is saying that it's end of difficulties now. You're at the end of this now. Okay. You're coming to the end of it because you're now at 10. And so this is the end of the journey. Okay. Please trust the cards and know that this is coming to an end. It's only temporary. There will be opportunities and things come in that's going to make you feel so much better about yourself and your money. Okay, just one more card, please. One more card. Thank you. And you're going to have offer, offer of support and love here because you've got the Page of Cups who wants to offer that for you. Um, don't Because you're in a desperate situation, don't be foolhardy and grab any opportunity or anything that comes along. Think very clearly about any offers that are being brought to you concerning support, love, emotion, okay? It's very much, um, it's like the fish can almost jump out of the bloody cup here. And this is pants, can, Panther, Panther, this is Cancer Pisces Scorpio, the, the cup card. So this may refer to the person that's going to come towards to offer you help. Just don't grab anything. And always, I always be careful. People say, I'm going to lend you money or help you. I make sure they haven't got an ulterior motive and I don't want to be beholden to them. So just take your time on that, okay? Um, and decide what you want to do with it. Just don't be foolhardy out of desperation because there are better things coming. Yep, you're blinded. You don't know what situation that you're going to take. You're going to, you're going to be given a decision and you just don't know which one to take. Use your intuition. The moon is um, saying about the intuition part of the energy of this card and even blindfolded, you need to feel your way. So it's basically saying feel the, feel the choices Feel what they are to you. Use your intuition. That card there. Per absolutely perfect. Was that absolute? No, it was the right way up. So this is basically saying you've got the Ten of Cups, which is the ultimate happy family, security, love, emotional balance. Everything is absolutely dreamy. You can see perhaps there's a new partner coming in because this could correlate with this. So you may have someone coming in that's going to help you out of all of this crap and mess. So there could be new romance coming, okay? This is the ultimate happier card to do with security, home, family, children, and anything to do with your emotional well-being. That was, I was looking for the end card, which was either going to be negative or positive, and this is positive. So hang on in there, guys, because this is coming, all right? Spiritual faith, get rid of the people that have stabbed you in the back. No, it's temporary and you're moving forward. Stick with the people that support and love you and are positive and have no ulterior motive, okay? Okay, that's you, my lovely little darlings. Number threes. Last but not least. Oh, my goodness. Slides haven't come out there. Number three. <clears throat> Patience is a virtue, darling. Praise, please, number three. You're going to come out of consciousness. No. Number three's in their head. And that'll be me. I just put in a little word in.
Answers, please, four. Thank you. Number threes. Oof. You're not... <laughs> Same card. That's really weird. Right, okay. You are not looking at the bigger picture, number threes, okay? The reason being, when this card comes up, adjacent possibilities, look at all the options that you've got here, right? You've got all sorts of doorways and windows to go through. The reason why I know that you're not doing this is because... We've got the thinking man reversed. Don't ask me how it got reversed because I haven't shuffled the cards weirdly at all. Okay, so the thinking man reversed is basically failing to take yourself forward, not wanting to deal with um, anything that's going to take you further forward, i.e., you know, you like think, well, I could do that course, it's going to help, but no, I don't want to. I could go and do that move, but I don't want to. I could study this because that's really going to help me. I don't want to. I could take this course at, at college, but oh, I don't know if I could be asked. I could go to spiritual class, but I don't know. It's all upside down. You're not you're not actually going for what you desire. OK, you're kind of sitting in your own energy, feeling a bit sorry for yourself. Um, and you're not looking at the bigger picture. There are so many other opportunities. But if you just open your eyes and your mind, be open to it. You can change your current situation. Again, listen to your friends. Your friends, the community is connected with this. They're telling you, they're advising you. Listen to their advice and what they've got to say to you because you really need to listen to the truth here because it can be fear, it can be tiredness, it can be you can't be asked, whatever it is. But you need to start shifting and looking at the opportunities that are coming. Start taking some of the opportunities and the possibilities that are arriving because at the moment you're kind of not interested and you need to be because otherwise you're not going to find yourself going any further forwards. Okay? Yes, you may be, it may be, you know, I don't want to sound too harsh. It may be, same card come up, how weird is that? It may be because you're going through a healing phase, you just need time out, you just need to like just get away from everything because you've just had enough or you're tired. You could be grieving, I've just heard as well. So you're kind of like, yeah, I'll do everything in a minute, but I can't. And I get it, I, I have days like that when I just can't do a thing. So I grab these times when I can actually get there, apart from I can't hardly say any words today. But, you know, this is about you saying, I just can't do this. So I understand if you're healing, but there's going to have to come a time, which we'll clarify now with the Rider Waite, when you're going to have to start taking these opportunities. You know, perhaps your friends are offering you opportunities or offering you to join a class with you. Could even be, let's do some weight loss together so you feel better, but you just don't want to do anything. You're not looking at any of the opportunities or possibilities that are being offered to you by friends or the universe. Um, which is fine if you're healing at the moment you're taking time out that's fine but know that there's going to be a time when you really need to just get up and start doing your thing okay you know we do become disillusioned with things but it's time to actually wade forward and there you go that says it all the knight of wands he's basically hello gorgeous girl hello mia so this card is basically the knight of wands he is just look at him he's roaring ahead you know, the desert's a bit dry and he's like, I don't care because I'm going ahead. I don't care if I'm going to get a bit thirsty. I'm waging ahead with what I want to create. This is also about spiritual endeavours as well. So if you're wanting to try and find more of a spiritual angle to um, your way forward, then do that. If you're, if you're doing that from the healing environment, okay? I need three hands. One to stroke her, one to do this, one to do that. She's very well, by the way, at the moment. Thank you very much, everybody, um, for sending all your comments. So he's he's waging forward, he's taking action and he's saying, right, enough's enough. I need to go towards my dreams now. It doesn't matter if it's dry here. I don't care. I'm going to carry on galloping forward because I know there'll be an oasis soon. OK, so he's, he's completely feeling like he's got it in the bag. All right. So it is it is just a completely, completely um, good corroboration. Come here and say hello, Mia Moo Moo. She's a good girl. It's just a complete backup for the other card to say, action is needed, all right? Stop sitting on your bum and feeling sorry for yourself. Sorry to be harsh, but it's true. You've got, you know, you've got balance here. The temperance card is here showing you that everything is coming. You know, be a bit patient if you are getting a bit disillusioned, but make sure that you've got perfect balance going on here, okay? So I'm going to take, I'm going to take those two cards, am I? 
okay so you've got perfect balance coming here with the temperance card as i say she's got one foot in the water which is saying that she's getting emotionally balanced here it's as above and so below this card because look she's got this divine energy around her she's using her intuition so she's keeping everything as it should be look you've got the sun coming up over the mountains so everything is coming as it should be so stay balanced stay try and stay as calm and um literal about everything that's going on at the moment okay try and move on from this healing phase if you can and start um being open to these these um these opportunities the, the emperor is obviously a man of power this is an older man so there may be an older man coming in here to come and assist you to come and help you through all of this these trials you're going on at the moment there may even be an older man or a more mature person offering you a new job a new home a new opportunity but he's basically coming in and bringing you something that's going to be amazing it doesn't have to be an older man coming in it can be someone that's got leadership who's like strong in their field of knowledge someone that's kind of got it all sussed a very very um level-headed person that's coming in it could be a female as well um, or it's just basically saying for you to start grabbing hold of your it's all about leadership and grabbing hold of your energy and saying right i need to now um, make my stance and go forward the reason being is with this card that i feel there may be an opportunity coming ahead is that if you've got the ace of pentacles which is the beginning of absolutely everything fluffy lovely and wonderful in home security money career okay this is the material card this is the wealth card there's divine um, offerings coming here. So this could come out of the blue, what's happening here with the money or the opportunity situation. Look, the gateway is now open. It's covered with foliage. It's all beautiful saying, go ahead. This is going to be the path to take to get you through the doorway. In the distance, yes, there are mountains. Perhaps you're a bit, oh my God, it might be a bit hard. But you know what? The whole point of seeing a mountain in front of you is to climb it. Once you're at the top, you've smashed it. It's just down, 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 down you running freely downhill without any effort at all so i would say take any opportunities to do with jobs money make sure though as i say that you are level-headed with this okay level-headed right what do i need to go forward shall i take this option shall i go for it as i say it could come out of the blue because it's divine intervention you have got many possibilities coming to you number threes take them because they're going to lead to money security and make you feel a lot better about yourself okay if you sit back on this, you're going to miss those opportunities. And at the moment, they're not coming around too much for you. Okay, so you've got to grab them. Let's just do one more. If the Wheel of Fortune comes up, I'm just going to pull my pants of excitement. <laughs> right, so. Oh, my God. See, look, you've got loads of options there. This is reminding you to keep a level head, as we said, with the temperance, okay, as above, so below. <laughs> Look with your intuition at all of the opportunities that are going to come to you. So this comes with a blessing that, yes, things, opportunities are going to come. But there's a tiny little cautionary tale there because you've been stabbed in the back before. You know, this is mostly why you're remiss to get yourself going because you've once bitten twice shy. OK, third time this has come up now. How weird is that? So you might be you might be thinking, like, I did that before and I got bitten. You know, it all went wrong. It all went down here or someone pissed you off or someone did something that stabbed you in the back. OK, so be mindful of that, but also be mindful to let things go and be level headed with the options that this emperor is going to bring in for you. OK, so basically, if you look at this card closely, you can see that you've got the victory reef there. You've got jewels here. And that then you've got like, I think that's a dragon in it. I don't know. But the so you've got the snake, which is obviously represents deceit, um, wrong, you know, not 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 great, great energy. So some of these are um connecting with great things, some of them are connected with not so great things, okay? So choose wisely, take the opportunities as they come, but think them through before you take them, okay. Just slow yourself down, look at your options and go for it because you really have got a lot of them. If you open your eyes and start looking at what's around you, look at the bigger picture, number threes. OK, that's all the cards for you this time round. Sorry about the ums and ers, but I can't help it. It's either do it now or don't do it at all. Um, as I said, I'm on TikTok now. So if you want to join me on there for a little bit of fun, very, very quick shorts on various spiritual stuff um, I'm going to put on there as well, just as a bit of fun. 
um, because this is a bit more, not serious, but that one's even a bit more fun, isn't it? Like just showing you little tarot cards and you got to guess what I mean and stuff like that, just little bits like that. Um, also, please like, share and subscribe. I really want to grow this tribe quicker than it's going. I want to reach more and more people. That's what I want to do. So help me get there. Um, apart from that, comments below. Let me know how you got on with these cards, if they make sense for you, as you always do anyway. God bless you. Is it amazing how much they make sense to some of you? Or a lot of you, not some of you. Um, and I shall see you again very soon. Remember, think good things, feel good things and do good things. God bless you all. I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye now.